Hey everyone, welcome into the Arena Productions, and in this video we're diving into the latest episode of Star Trek Prodigy, Season 2, Episode 6, titled Imposter Syndrome. Before we begin, I want to remind you that this video contains spoilers, so if you haven't watched the episode yet, you might want to come back later. Also, I'll be continuing to upload one recap and review episode per week until we get through the entire season, which has been dropped on Netflix. So, let's get into it. So we kick off uh, in a high-intensity moment as Dahl is being chased down by his friends, so who don't seem very friendly at the moment. He pleads that his real friends would never do what they are about to do. Flashback to a day earlier, we see the gang figuring out how to bypass their restrictions to find the coordinates Murph discovered on a distant planet. Their plan is to borrow the Infinity, locate Chicote and the uh, Protostar, and reset time before Gwen succumbs to her time displacement, all without at the Admiral's approval. The kids decide to use hologram duplicates to cover their absence during their this mission. However, the first batch of holograms isn't convincing enough, so they work on creating perfect duplicates. Things take a turn when these dupes thinking they're the real gang, leave the real kids behind in the holodeck. Chaos ensues as the real kids split up to track down their dupes before they can board the Infinity and leave. Each character deals with their dupe in unique and amusing ways. Dahl faces off against his own ego. Pog has a percussion duel. And the Rocks become best pals. Eventually, they manage to reset the ship's uh, holomatrix, rebooting all holograms, including the dupes. <laughs> so just as they manage to get on the Infinity and cloak it, avoiding detection by Janeway and her team, the dupes reboot with switched personalities. This sets up, sets up an intriguing uh, complication for future episodes. So this episode uh, in my review here, it felt like a, a refreshing standalone adventure with a mix of humor and character development. It brought back the, the lighthearted feel of season one while also diving into some deeper character moments. The duplicate scenario provided a clever way to explore the characters' personalities, with Dahl facing his flaws and Rock using the protostar as a safe space for her best thinking. The interactions between the duplicates and their real counterparts were both entertaining and insightful. Pog's existential crisis was particularly hilarious, and the friendship between the rocks was heartwarming. Uh, Majel's uh, evolving role and her budding relationship with Zero added another layer of depth to the story. Although the focus was on the Voyager, leaving some ongoing plot lines like Chakotay's fate and Asensia's plans untouched, now, the episode still managed to balance fun and meaningful moments effectively. This pivot to a new five-episode arc uh, promises more exciting developments ahead. Uh, so, Imposter Syndrome was a delightful blend of humor and introspection, uh, offering both laughs and character insights. The season continues to deliver engaging stories, and I really can't wait to see how the rest of the arc unfolds. I'm looking forward to bringing you that. Uh, with another recap and review next week. So um, remember uh, to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you enjoyed this video. Uh, also, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Uh, what did you think of the episode? And uh, also, we just put up our House of the Dragon uh, Season 2, Episode 7 uh, recap and review. So if you're into House of the Dragon please go and check out our uh, fantasy uh, uh, content here on the Arena Productions as well. So anyway, live long and prosper, and we hope to catch you all next week for the next recap interview. Peace out.